live from Antones in Austin, Texas, for a brand new episode of Kill Tony. Get up for Tony Hitchcliffe! Wow, isn't that special? Come on, guys, we're here. We're in Austin. Make some noise. It's another taping of Kill Tony live at Antones. The great Brian Redbay. Hey, is here. everybody. Very, very exciting. Exciting stuff. Uh, welcome to another episode. Big table tonight. Look at the size of this table. Wow. My goodness. How many of you have heard this show before or watch it or whatever? Very good. Then you guys know what you're in for. The great Ryan J. Ebelt is at home in Los Angeles, California, drawing tonight's episode right now on this screen right in front of us. You can't see him, but we can. He draws every single episode of the show, every tour poster, every everything. Some incredible stuff over at RyanJEbelt.com. Get the new Kill Tony the Coloring Book. How many of you, by round of applause, have pre-ordered your Kill Tony Coloring Book? Look at that. The first laugh of the night, Ryan. Can you believe it? Just dead silence here. I just got it. It's awesome, man. I, was, uh, I had no electricity, no power or anything, so I, just, I started coloring this whole weekend. It was great. There you go. I made you green. Oh, red band. <laughs> All right, another very interesting thing. Kill Tony 500 is right around the corner. It, it snuck up on us out of nowhere. If you're wondering how many other podcasts in front of a live audience have even gotten to have episode 500 of their podcast, the answer there is the same as how many people in this room pre-ordered the coloring book <laughs> for Kill Tony. Uh, but episode 500 around the corner. This is an announcement right now that there's going to be an announcement next week regarding Kill Tony 500. So this is a special announcement about an announcement. How about a big hand for the band? You guys have been listening to them for a few minutes here. This is the Kill Tony Austin, Texas band. John Dees on keys, Matt Muling on guitar, the great D Madness on bass guitar, and Michael Gonzalez on drums. I always notice... I always notice D Madness gets the most applause. I don't know why. Uh, I don't know why you guys feel the need to clap harder it's for D Madness. It's his sunglasses, man. He's from the future. Look at him. He's from Blade. He's clearly cool. <laughs> we got to get you some blinky sunglasses, John. <laughs> we need to, we, you're being out likable by your bass player back there. <laughs> I love it. So exciting, exciting stuff. We're about rip-roaring and ready to about uh, rip it here. I'm excited about uh, tonight's show. Very, very fun. We've had uh, only episodes with one guest at a time. Every How many of you have been to a Kill, to Kill Tony taping here in Austin, Texas? Every week we've done one guest at a time. Uh, this week we're going to do two. And we might even, at one point, believe it or not, hit three. You know, we never announce the guests on Kill Tony. We just always, you know, let you guys get lucky or unlucky. This is one of the lucky ones. Yeah. This is, uh, you guys are worth. in very, very good hands because this is uh, one of, two of my best friends in the entire world. Two real comedy store guys. Uh, you guys are going to have so much fun. Ladies and gentlemen, it is Brian Moses and Joe Rogan. Wow. All right. Boom. Yeah. What's up? Ba -na -na -na. Yeah. This episode's so crazy, Freddie Gibbs might even be joining us at any moment. Who knows? Anything can happen here tonight. Hey, a special shout out, guys, to Clarissa and Thomas. They made a new Kill Tony Texas bucket. Look How about that, that huh? <laughs> Who's that little guy right there? It's The Undertaker. Wow. Austin's own The Undertaker. I found out The Undertaker lived here after moving here. I'm not stalking him. But I do wear the championship belt every day. <laughs> right in between. Right after drying off and before putting on clothes, I throw on my uh, Undertaker championship belt. Welcome back to the show, guys. Moses, you're back. It's been, uh, we, we had enough, you were on one of the audience list Kill Tonys at the comedy store during the global pandemic. And now you're here. How does it feel to be back in front of an audience? We kidnapped him from L.A., everybody. It's a real yeah. black man, Brian yeah. Moses. <laughs> I love this, yeah. We, uh, we're smuggling Negroes into Texas now. Yeah. It was like 1865. Heck yeah, it's the... 
It's the above ground railroad, we're calling it. <laughs> I love this shit. <laughs> Uh, Joe Rogan, welcome back to Kill Tony. Always Thank you very much. Have you here? It's oh. COVIDy as fuck up in this bitch. You guys like you, did a people podcast. People don't know about it. Yeah. You we guys, had a, oh my god, Freddie Gibbs went crazy. He might have got us all canceled. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> like for real. And there was some parts where I was like, this might be an issue. <laughs> right? yeah, yeah, you nodded your head a couple times. I was yeah, like, I was okay. like, hmm. yeah, well, the, what can we do now? <laughs> when you let Freddie Gibbs on anything, you got to be careful. I love it. Yeah, he's dangerous. He we could need dudes like that. He could show up at any given moment. He'll be here. here. So. Come on, man. I'm excited. Yeah. You guys know how it works. We had a bunch of people sign up before the show uh, out and on their way in. Some people are here. Some, some people's first time. Some people have been trying forever. Some people have been doing stand-up never. And some have been doing it forever. And uh, the names are in the bucket. If I pull your name out, you get 60 seconds uninterrupted. You know your time is up and you hear the sound of a kitten. You hear that? Hear that little kitten? Let's hear it one more time. Let's hear the kitten. All right. That means wrap it up then, or else you're going to bring out the angry 4th Street Bear. There it is. I'm excited about tonight's show, but before we do, here's a little bit uh, about the amazing sponsors that made tonight's episode possible for you right now. This podcast is brought to you by the Ridge Wallet. It's light, sleek, and industrial. It doesn't fold or awkwardly bulge in your back pocket, and it seriously changed my whole pocket situation. It's designed to fit easily in your front pocket. I was having some neck problems earlier this year. Turns out, you move that stuff to your front pocket, it's a whole nother level. Most people are still using wallets designed in the 90s, carrying around old receipts, pictures of their ex, and gift cards in an organized mess. I mean, you know about this. You have a bunch of uh, fast food place cards in your wallet. Come on. No, but I do think a lot of people like us still carry it around, that old wallet, you know? This one holds up to 12 cards, plus it has room for cash. There are over 30 colors and styles. I got the carbon fiber one. It's awesome. If this wasn't enough to win you over, check out the 40,000 five-star reviews. The durable material means each wallet comes with a lifetime warranty. You could buy this wallet and carry it for life. The Ridge team is so confident that you'll like it that they'll give you a 45-day trial. You can test it out for 45 days. If you don't like it, you could send it back for a full refund if you don't love it. Look, I'm telling you people, every single cast member of Kill Tony has one. They use it. It absolutely works. It's sleek. It makes sense. Get your life together. Get rid of your silly, chunky wallet that your grandpa gave you and uh, have a better life with the Ridge Wallet. Get 10% off today with free worldwide shipping and returns by going to ridge.com slash killtony. That's ridge.com slash killtony. Use the code word killtony. Don't forget, get 10% off. It's an amazing thing. Treat yourself. You'll thank me later. And we're back. Who's ready to start tonight's show? Oh, my God. It's so fake. I have to leave. (laughs) I can't do this. I'm too high. (laughs) It's too fake. Here we go. And your first an audience light. It could be anyone, ladies and gentlemen. That's the craziness about the show. Lately, people have been signing up that should be in, should not be out in public. But we're gonna see what happens here tonight. Your first comedian, 60 seconds uninterrupted, goes to Alex Frank Encinia. Alex Frank Encinia is first. A lot of people socially spread distanced, spread out on the sidewalk. Alex Franken Senior has a nice steady pace. Very excited. Here we go. How about one more time, everybody, for Alex Frank and Senior? Anthony's, how are we doing? Appreciate ya. Uh, my name is Alex Frank and Senior. Uh, I, Austin was pretty icy this past week, you know. The, the Mars rover also landed on Mars. There was ice found on Mars for the second time also. Yeah. Too many Mexicans up there too. Here we go. Nope. Okay. It's Austin crowd. All right. I'm half Mexican. I'm from a South Texas town. I'm half Mexican and half racist, so I can say what the fuck I want. I, yeah, but it's a weird racist because it's South Texas, so it's like... All of my grandparents' grandkids are half Mexican, half black, but they have a dog named Jigaboo. Nobody really knows how to work with it. I'm, um, 
but I am half Mexican. I'm not Jewish, even a little bit. Please, I know what I look like, whoever giggled over here. I know what I look like. I like Mexican What You know how good my whistle is? I, I, to convince these Mexican dads that I, meow, can date their dog. <laughs> I got it. Okay, I don't want the bear. I appreciate it, guys. There it is, right before the bear. He knows the show. I don't know if he prepared for it. Alex Franken Senior is coming Dude, in. Dude, you started out with a lot of promise. <laughs> Did I stop? I thought I kept the it. The opening words, I was like, maybe this guy's got a handle on this. Fuck a duck. Yeah, you got a good look. You're like Napoleon Dynamite kill himself. <laughs> oh, that's, that's a good one. I thought you were just going to say Napoleon Dynamite. I was like, all right. I've never uh, got that one before. No, Anthony, no. good one. I add more smart, funny things yeah, to the actual you're thing good. to you're make such it a bigger. Good writer. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. You're welcome. Thank you, Alex Frank. Uh, so, how long have you been doing stand up? With COVID? Uh, about two years. Huh. Okay. How old are you? 23. Hell yeah, 23. You don't look a day over 47. I love it. You s- it goes both ways. Sometimes I get 15, sometimes I get 53. It's yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Whatever your victim says, I get it. Uh, yeah. I'll take whatever I can get, honestly. Yeah. yeah. Brian. Brian. Yeah. yeah. It, it is true. Very rarely does someone look like both the pedophile and the victim <laughs> at the same time. <laughs> you look like you touch yourself. <laughs> you would, you, I'd be touching you, myself. If you jerk off, you have to like tell your neighbors you're in their neighborhood or something like <laughs> Say, that. Say, hey, listen. <laughs> 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 What do you do for work, Alex Frank? You're 23. You're here in uh, Texas. I bartend on the weekends, but I produce bigger comedy shows for professional comedians. Let's talk about the bartending. Let's talk <laughs> about the bartending. We're not. It's, I'm not lying. No, it's ever since Ronan Farrow dropped this documentary about him, now he's in brown face <laughs> claiming he's Mexican. Yeah. Oh, no. yeah. Where are you bartending? I didn't know they had bars in Hogwarts. Like, what type of, what type of drink? Are you making spells? What are we talking about it's here? Butter, butter beer. Just only butter beer. <laughs> no, it's a place called Doc B's. It's fine. I don't, it's not a cool bar. They let you bartend back there? Like, Nobody sees you me. have to they check other people's back. IDs when they come in? No, but I get to make their drinks, and that's my favorite part. Oh, okay. Creepy. Oh, come on. Why is that your favorite thing? Right. Because i he's done all pedophile jokes, Joseph, and I make drinks Joseph. for people. So it's... Whoa. Whoa. I, I see the connection. Yeah, just, <laughs> I didn't get there on my own. <laughs> I it's see there. The connection is I there. I see the painting you were trying to make. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Most people would not have, like, put those two things yeah, together and go, oh, take of a, course. Trying to graduate from pedophile to date rapist. I get it. Yeah, you're drugging <laughs> You kids. get there. Got it. Take, take a st- back step towards that keyboard and so you can square up to the audience. Face them. I face know. them out there. Sorry, yeah, sorry, look sorry, at that. Sorry, so sorry. they could all look at your that. fucking uh, grandmotherly face that <laughs> you have. <laughs> that Unabomber energy. Look at that. Oh, yeah. oh, <laughs> he sort of has every kind of bad energy if you think about yeah. it. Like It's like he could fucking molest, he could rape, he could Don't murder. Don't tolerate this dude. I know this has been a rough moment for you. Don't <laughs> it's not, don't let them take it. Don't let them take it from it you. Ru- I guess it's been rough. Stand up for yourself. <laughs> uh, this they're is not important. saying anything that's wrong. They're saying good, what was well-written that? jokes. Accurate. <laughs> accurate. What was that Mexican whistle you did? That was the most inaccurate uh, <laughs> Mexican whistle I ever heard. That was the inaccurate that's, one? That was Are you really? Yeah. I can whistle smiling. Nah. Are you really Mexican? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> With uh, how much? I mean, my, like my dad's Mexican. Okay. Yeah. And your mom is what? Racist. Sounds white. She's white. Just regular white. Yeah. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Salute. Cheers to you, Alex, Frank, and Cheers. Cheers. Gotcha. Hey. Uh, so tell us something so. interesting about you that uh, we would find shocking. Like, what would surprise us about your life? Well, he said he was racist. What? He said he's, I'm half Mexican, half racist. Who, who don't you like? Who don't I like? Yeah. Who are you racist against? Yeah. It's just, like I said, Brian, it's fun racists, so it's like... It's just a joke. We like everybody, but our dog's name is like... He's on the run! Jigaboo! Right, and <laughs> little Orphan Anne Frank, it's... Uh, I don't like you say my name, though. It's very serial killery, you know what I mean? I like saying fool names. <laughs> All right. so, <laughs> Alex, do you have a girlfriend? No. No? Clearly. <laughs> I'll be fucking... Who, who are you, who are like you fucking? That. 
I be fucking. Don't have a girlfriend. Respect. I don't know what to Give me some, brother. Fucking? Give me some respect. That's what's up. respect. Who are you fucking, Alex Franken Senior? Honestly, whoever I can get my whoever hands on. Whoever stands still. Uh, it's <laughs> Pillows, socks, all over I Texas. I all wake over up hard and I got silk sheets. I'd be fucking the pillows, Tony. It's yeah. Anyone that Taylor with a liked it. Mild to moderate scream can get it. <laughs> Very fun. I've always wondered what it would be like if a young Bernie Sanders signed up for this show. I'm getting to find out. Hey, everybody likes that dude and they leave him alone, so it's cool. <laughs> I'll take it. Absolutely. Okay, that that sort of makes sense, Alex Frank. So, Alex, what do you want to do with this? Can I ask him? Yeah. What do you, you want to do with this? You want no, this, do you want to do this for a living? Yeah, I want to do it for a living, so I, uh, can I get into the production part? Just without actually being a fraud about it. Wait, what, are you, what are you asking? I got into producing comedy to produce comedy for professional comedians, so that way whenever they heard my name as far as being funny, it's a good I would idea. Be in their head. It's a good idea. Here's the problem. Is that people that <laughs> people that put on comedy shows are literally yeah, the I, I know, worst. I know. I've heard so it all. Everybody I've that's gonna remember all. your name is gonna be like, oh, he's one of those fucking fucks. I know. I know. That's why I've been trying to fight that. But yes, yeah, so I'm moving to Austin in a couple months. I don't live here. I'm trying to produce when I can on Friday nights. Where do you and live? Do comedy. You don't five live here. Uh, but is this lasting too long for you no, and I'm me? Good. What do I'm you think? Good. Do I, am I rushing you? Where do you do your show on Fridays? Uh, I have one in Brenham every third Friday. I have one in Brenham. Get your, get your alibi right, Alex. I have one every first Friday in Brian, and every Tuesday I have a show in Brian. Mark Norman was supposed to be here last week. Okay, okay, out. okay. okay that's yeah, he's like, yeah, yeah, I'll definitely make it. <laughs> Went from every Friday to every so, third <laughs> Friday real quick. When has no. Mark Norman ever skipped a show ever? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Bro, he ducked you. <laughs> it was... The snow vid. The deposit yeah, we didn't believe clear. in snow. Okay. All That's right, fine. Alex Frankensenia. You're different. a wild little one. <laughs> I feel like it's about time for you to go turn into a were hey. rabbit or something like that. I don't know what exactly. You're gonna Keep it together, bro. Yeah? Yeah, you're going to be I all right. I appreciate it. There you go. You, Alex like, Frankensenia, you everybody. Good, your first comedian here on Kill Tony. That's how it works. I pull a name out of the bucket. They perform for a minute. You came out good, right? Yeah. Some, some good energy. He's got a good He's got look. a number. He can blow on those flames. Hey, look who's here, everybody. It's Lieutenant General Zach Bogus. 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 All right. Pulled another name out. Mark Pena is next. Mark Pena. Let's see what happens here. It's coming from the pit of comedians deep in the back. This is Mark Pena. It's a long walk here in Antones. Another, uh, another sold-out show. Oh, we know this guy. All right, here he is, finally. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time for Mark Pena. Hello, everybody. Hi. Man, I've had a lot of free time since this whole COVID thing, man. Um, I've had a whole lot of free time. You ever, like, pop a pimple? And it keeps coming back, and you, you pop it, it keeps coming back, man. Did that ever happen to anybody, man? I think I'm growing a nipple. Yeah, it's really, it's really bad, man. Before this whole COVID thing, though, I was on a, I was a tour guide in the double-decker bus here. I'm sure there's a bunch of new people here to Austin, right? Yeah. No? Okay, a few. Well, you might appreciate this then. Austin, live music capital of the world. That's a true fact, man. Uh, there's more live music here per square capita than any other place anywhere else, man. Wow. What a fun, positive spin on the homeless, right? <laughs> Just a guitar and drum circle in every corner here, man. You know, good for them for being positive, right? It really depresses me. It makes me sad whenever I see it. I see these men, they're so down under luck, man. They're so weak, they're so fragile, the music is barely live. <laughs> Give it a week. <laughs> the AIDS will win, it will win. <laughs> All right, that was my time, man. Mark Pena, everybody. Isn't he adorable? There you go. Welcome to the show, Mark. You Thanks, got, man. You, you've been on, you were on recently, right? Yeah, I was the dude that sold plasma and fuck fat chicks. You wait, what? The guy that sold plasma and fuck fat chicks. Yeah. That's, that right. That's right. That's right. He does fuck fat chicks. Moses, what do you think about this guy? <laughs> he sells plasma, fucks fat chicks. <laughs> <laughs> it's a hell of a resume. All right. I think you should open with that next time. Uh, <laughs> oh, I opened it with last time. That, that was actually good. kind of fun. Yeah, I do the same Hamburger. <laughs> That would have been a good idea. You fucking ate fat chicks since the last time you were on the uh, show? 
That's a yes. No, no, actually, no. They weren't fat. I would have consider no. them fat. They. Multiple girls wow. since your last two Not so bad for a plasma No, guy, no. Right? That's yeah. their pronoun. No. Do you also be fucking? <laughs> do I also what? Ed? what? Do you also be fucking? Yeah, Sometimes. Do do Sometimes. Yeah. 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 Sometimes. Uh, Sometimes. I get lucky. You know? Right. I catch a break every right. once in a while. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> That's it. What's the wildest <laughs> thing you've ever done uh, in the bedroom? Um, 300 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> she sat on my face uh, as she was 300 pounds. Uh, wildest thing? Oh, shit, man. I don't Come know, on. Man. You know the one. I don't want to say it. It's embarrassing. Uh, <laughs> Go ahead. That's the whole point. It's, uh, that's what makes this show so much fun is that you're in front of an audience. Wildest thing? Uh, let's see. Um, I'm guessing right now. <laughs> oh, I yeah. would love to hear it. I would love to hear it. No, you go, go ahead. You tell us oh, your man. truth one. Wildest thing? Shit. Um, Come on. Tell us the real one, Mark. <laughs> Stop thinking about your second scariest memory. <laughs> I really can't. Uh, Mark, please. I'm begging you. Oh, fine. She, uh, let's see. Wildest thing ever? Um, I don't know. I'm choking her out, and she's grabbing me by the nuts. <laughs> so, like, there we go. <laughs> so, no. It's a give and take kind of thing. It's not creepy. Uh, it's not you're all right. A, Mark is mental and assault. Yeah. <laughs> you're a liar, Mark. I don't believe that's the weirdest thing. Cold in case files are being opened right. up right now as we speak. <laughs> Shouldn't have said that. I didn't want to say that, but I did anyways. That's the wildest thing? Uh, no, <laughs> but it's what I'm going to say. Uh, yeah. Can you just give us a hint of what the other thing might be? Basically more of that, I guess, yeah. More choking. No, you could do better than that. Can you do better than that? Come on, Tony. He's like, you guys, Mark. I'm the Night Stalker. (laughs) Mark, I'm going to keep asking you the same question until all the cord is bundled up around your arm. (laughs) He's slowly wrapping himself up like a mummy right now. He's nervously... He's got a noose already made. (laughs) Welcome to Texas. Just throw terrible, it over terrible. the beam. <laughs> and the S- Mark, does it have a? <laughs> All right, forget it. I guess I'll stop. Asking. <laughs> You're not gonna get, tell us anything about it. Do oh, that th- one was pretty wild. I think, right? I mean, no, what, Mark. How long it? you been doing this? How long you been doing stand up? Um, I think it, nine years in February. Yeah. Wow. What? Just about. <laughs> oh no. Two years? Is that better? <laughs> nine years. Yeah. Oh my god. Maybe next time you should squeeze her nuts and let her choke you out. (laughs) Maybe I will. uh, Maybe I will. Wow. (laughs) Jesus, Mark. What else do you do for fun when you're not fucking fat chicks and donating blood? What's another hobby of yours? Choking people to sleep. (laughs) What else, Mark? Uh, Oh, man. I'm, you know, I just read a lot of books, man, basically. Books? Yeah, just read. What kind of books? Um, Cookbooks that the girls leave over his house. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? What was I reading? Um, the Death of Common Sense. That's a good one. Mike Judge recommends that one, actually. Wow. That's a name nice dropper. Guy. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, what was it? Mark, we're not, we don't want your book recommendations. Oh, okay. Right? Well, I was just saying what, what I was what, reading. That's what are you, <laughs> fucking Oprah Winfrey up here? Who gives a fuck what Mark's you're reading? Mark's Book Club. <laughs> oh, you know, I got to tell you, a lot of other people are recommending this read as well. Um, uh, you know, not a lot of people recommend books here, Tony. Oh, um. <laughs> well, that's what I do for fun, basically. It's not very fun, but it is cheap and free. Uh. I'll just read, fucking run. Um. Dude, you're depressing the fuck out of me. <laughs> Yeah, normally I write down, like, the topics that people talk about I'm during their 60 Mark. seconds. I didn't even know, like, what to write down. I didn't even know what we were really getting at this with you, This is killing Mark. me, dude. All right, All right Mark. people what? and reading books. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, so, I used to do the jiu-jitsu thing, but then the whole COVID thing hit, and, like, they, do it, a- they do it online now, and I don't really dig that a whole lot. Jiu-jitsu online? Yeah, it's lame, man. Choke yourself? You know you can read <laughs> books online, too. You know that's online, too, and pretty lame, right? <laughs> Why are you doing jujitsu? That they do it online. They do it in gyms. Oh, they do now. Yeah, they did. They did. They well, they'll. they'll, they'll you can do both, but uh, I don't know, man. You got to wear the mask the whole time too. No, you don't. At this one, you do. Yeah. You got to move to a new place. It's not filled yeah. with. Pussies. I definitely do, but they will. They won't let me out of my contract, man. It's lame. I gotta like wait for the whole time. <laughs> do and this then, before I what, die with them. <laughs> what kind of contract are you in? <laughs> I can't. Just a regular contract. It's like a gym contract. Yeah, that's basically. What gym? Uh, Aces. 
Aces? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, I think like that's a, a hardware store, son. <laughs> <laughs> that think, should have been my first warning. I think I right found there. your problem. <laughs> just spend the day it's listing just, two it's by just fours wrestling with fucking attendance. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty lame. I regret that. Some dude that trying to run the garden <laughs> aisle. I love it. Out there working out with fucking Black and Decker. <laughs> just trying to fuck him and choke him. <laughs> It's where I learned. It's where I learned my moves. Sis. All right, Mark, you got up twice in a few weeks. Congratulations. Good to oh, see thanks, you again, man. Mark yeah, Pena. Yeah. Everybody, let's All right, keep Mark. moving along. Mark, Mark. you're a good Pena, sport, Mark, fella. Eighty-seven. Alex Franken, senior, by the way, age of twenty-three. Already been doing it two years. He's on Instagram at Rogue Comedy. Rogue man. There you go. Living off the grid. Follow his career. All right, your next comedian goes by the name of Scott Wharton. Scott Wharton is next. It's not coming from the audience. Must be the sidewalk. You guys having fun out there, huh? I thought this was the rock and roll capital. Come on, you guys having fun out there? It always works. (laughs) The rock and roll capital, huh? (laughs) Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Oh, wow. Look at that. Very unorthodox entry. One more time for Scott Wharton. What is up, everybody? How you doing? Make some noise one time. All right. So my dog ate my LSD. We've all been there. Don't act like I'm the only one. Joe, you know what I'm talking about. He started freaking out. He's like, am I really a good boy? Do all dogs really go to heaven? (laughs) Hold on, man. If dog is God spelled backwards, does that mean if I walk in reverse, I'll become God? (laughs) Whoa. Then he started freaking out. He's like, hold on, man. K9. K is the 11th letter in the alphabet. Nine. 11, nine. Nine, 11. Nine, 11 was an inside job. (sighs) Bad dog. No. I didn't write that joke, man. George Bush wrote that joke, y'all. That's wow. An in, it's an inside joke. Look at that. We Scott a, Wharton. Give absolute. it up for Tony, Dude. everybody. Thank you. No, 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 thank you, Scott. That was legit. Those were, you had some funny lines, man. That, that made me laugh. That was very funny. Thank That's how good funny. it can go on this show. That's yeah. incredible. I love it, Thanks for Scott. the time, man. Absolutely. You got it. You're so polite. You from Texas? No, I'm from Virginia. Oh, okay. I know your friend Alex Moore. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, awesome. Yeah, yeah. I like yeah. that. Alex Moore. Alex Moore is an OG comedy yes, store guy. That's a he guy did my that podcast helped. a couple weeks ago. I love it. He's yeah. the man. Help God me damn, everybody's got a fucking Everyone, podcast. It's your fault. <laughs> it's your fault. You did that shit. I started a podcast because of you, motherfucker. Well, you did? It's, it's his fault. And Sorry. Then it's your fault. So you're just visiting right now? I came here for the week to do Kill Tony and to sign up for open mics. This is the Mecca, so I'm here to do it, bro. I love that. I was in L.A. last weekend. I took pictures at the comedy store. That was very funny, dude. You have some really good lines. How long have you been been doing stand-up for? Three years. Three years. You got a lot of promise, man. Thank you. Thank you, Joe. You got a good look, too. I always wonder what it would be like if someone gave human growth hormone to Nikki Glaser. I know what I look like, man. <laughs> I got a club foot, too, so it works out. Yeah, dude. You can't unsee it. <laughs> I know. I know. I had that in my, If you're wondering, I had that locked in my head five seconds oh, after he man, grabbed the microphone. Dude. I'm like, oh, I know, I know one that'll definitely work on this guy. <laughs> Have you ever seen Nikki Glaser before? No. no. Oh, okay. When you do, it's, you're going to see it as well. You're going to be like, wow. If, we, if someone gave her, like, the Bane treatment, this is what would come out of the other end. I've created a super Nikki Glaser. <laughs> of all the jokes of a man <laughs> with the extended body of a woman. All right. Scott, I Nikki like Nikki Glaser, if she was a volleyball player. Nah, now, do the, do my it, version. It, uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's way better. If I meet her, I'll, I'll let her know what you I said. I love it. I love it. All right. So, Scott, let's talk about How old are you? I'm 29. What do you do for work? Uh, I sell weed. Really? Wow. Well, so I open. fucking love this dude. I knew Obviously. that. Obviously. Joe, I love you too, I knew dog. you were my friend. Yes. Hell yeah. What do, we, yes. what, what do we got on the menu this week? 
on the menu this week? Yeah, what, well, what I'm t- out of town, type, so what, I had to give everybody weed before I left. What type of weed are you selling? Can you give us some names of your strands and whatnot? Um, is it, ge- this gelato? is in Virginia? Yes, yes, sir. Okay, do you have any of the seedless variety? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, of course, seedless variety. I smoke wax, though. I don't smoke weed. Oh, yeah. okay. Hi, cl- hey, right. hey, hey, hey. Bro, get this All right, right. I don't I like, like you like anymore. I mean. oh, come on, Joe. It's a cop. I like I those wax knew. people. Yeah. I already knew. We knew you smoked wax, Scott. Yeah, yeah. You could tell in the eyes. Those you wax always... people have problems. Yeah, yeah, the dabbers, the crackheads. They have problems. <laughs> hey, what? man, just because I used to smoke crack, that has nothing to do with this. Exactly. You did. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, good. Now, now, now we can talk. Oh, we got Moses' attention. Cool, uh, talk, all you have to do is now, say we're crack we're three crack. times. And <laughs> can I get a seat? Like, here, crack so. beetle juice shows up here. <laughs> just say it three times. Crack, say crack, it three crack. times, he pulls out an eight ball. How was it? How was it? Yeah. It's fucking horrible, man. What are you talking crack about? Crack is horrible? Yeah. How, I did, first how, did, how did this happen? How do you start smoking crack? Give us an example of what happened. Uh, so I walked in the shed one day, and my dad was smoking crack. And then he was like, do you want to smoke this crack? And I was like, sure, man. And then I smoked crack. How old crack. were you? 27. Like 15, dude. 15 this years old. This story just got a lot sad. This is way better. Oh, it's fun. <laughs> Right? Uh, through the power of LSD, I overcame my crack addiction. All right, I've been clean for three years. Wow! All right now, right after I started doing comedy, I got See, clean. See, I don't. That's sad too. It's like you burned out, man. You should have paced yourself. Yeah, you I got my cocaine clean. stage out of the yeah. way before those, I got into entertainment. Those people that like they they go crazy and then they're clean. Like, just are you sure? <laughs> No, you really want I'm to doing clean? comedy, Joe. Do I? You don't want to be a cl- You can't. Don't do that. <laughs> you need drugs. You can still smoke crack, by the way. Very important. I Richard Pryor was crack. one of the greatest comedians ever. Nothing but free base. That's true. We That's talked true. about that today. Exactly, yeah. We talked about today on the podcast. Take Listen. A, take a step back so the audience can see. Square up with the crowd yeah. so they can see the face of a she-man over here. Yeah. He should do coke, right? He should do what? Coke. coke. Oh, what crack, 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 crack. Very rarely do we get Joe to clean prescribe shit. somebody cocaine on this show, but uh, this is a this is a new one. Uh, w- uh, how long have you been clean and sober for? <laughs> Since 2018. 2018. Yeah. So yeah. That's not good. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Joe loved me at first, and now he's like, "Fuck this guy. I don't care I'm about him at all." Just kidding. I know. I know. Stay clean. I'm wait. So you doing crack for 12 years? I did crack for a long time. Don't Why? leave it behind. Why? Go back and visit it. Yeah. <laughs> Everything's better crack. moderation. Like Go an old crack. girlfriend or something. Hey, yeah. crack. Yeah, maybe like an old girlfriend you broke up with, and then you got your shit together, and she got yeah. her shit together, and you go, hey, crack. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> what else do you do, Scott, when you're not doing your stand-up or podcasting? or? Fuck, man. Hanging out with my dog. My dog. That's my life. What's your dog's name? Bo. Bo. Yeah, he's a boxer. Wow. Yeah, How long yeah. have you had Bo for? Fuck, man, like five or six years. Wow. He was a rescue. I'm his third owner. Wow. Mm-hmm. Yep. In yep. dog years, it's probably time to take him back to the shed and smoke crack with him. <laughs> keep, the, keep, keep, the, uh, keep the family tradition uh, going. I love it. Uh, <laughs> there he is. Oh, shit. We got him on Come the line. On. He's live streaming from Virginia right now. What's his name? What's his name? Bo. Bo, Bo that's right. He remembered Bo, <laughs> Bo, are you okay? <laughs> so stupid. Poor Bo. Can you have a dog coughing on crack? <laughs> got something, right? What do you got there? <laughs> he actually added the sound effect says dog smoking crack. <laughs> So wait a minute, wait a minute. All right, so you've had this dog for six years? Yeah, yeah. And you've been cleaning this over for three years off of... That uh, means three years he got to watch me smoke. Three years. That's what I'm saying. So yeah, yeah. Uninhibited. What was your rock bottom? You were like selling fucking Alpo, being like, we got, we got to stop this, but <laughs> Yeah, pretty much. Really? I mean, yeah, man. You were wow. selling dog food for... Wait, what kind of crack are you getting? When you fall off the bike, you get back on, and you relearn. That's you don't it. just give up. I don't know. I started a podcast and did comedy because of Joe, so I think I'm going to start smoking crack get again. Get back on the crack. Do you have- All right. For this podcast, you should only interview crackheads, though. <laughs> okay. You- just walk Imagine. around Austin. That'd be lit. <laughs> if you you're only, yeah, if you're just only call the show heads? On Crack. <laughs> And just the crack podcast? make everybody get lit up. Look, if that fucking wings guy can get everybody to eat spicy food. It's yeah. true. For a half hour, you can get everybody to smoke crack. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I do your podcast. on crack. Yeah, I've never done it. I'd do if it you go to yeah, Oregon. Do you think Joey would do it with me? Me? No. Joey. Joey, Joey Diaz? 
not fuck yeah, to crack suckers. anymore. Yeah. But if you go to Oregon, it's it's legal. Okay. You could actually oh, do yeah, the show. Oh, yeah, that's true. I thought you yeah. were from Oregon. You got this whole look you about You do everything you. up there. Yeah. Do you ever yeah. smell burnt plastic and miss it? Like do sometimes, you know, like, <laughs> sometimes, yeah. Is sometimes that one of those you catch that ether smell. You know no, about no, this? no. Bur- a crack smells like burnt. red band knows. That's yeah, my guy. How do you know what it smells I've like? I've smoked crack before. You have? Yeah, once, twice, With me? once, twice, something like that. <laughs> what? I used to date a girl. You crack once for two weeks. I used We've to date a there? girl that uh, her roommate sold cocaine. And one of their things they would do is make crack, you know, once in a while. And then I was like, what's this all about? It was horrible. It was, it was like the worst Yeah, buzz some ever. people make cookies. <laughs> <laughs> so it wasn't good? I'm sure Red yeah, Band tried was, the cookies, too. It was like a dirty <laughs> high. Really? Yeah. All bullshit aside, congratulations yeah. on your sobriety. I'm just Thank bullshitting. You. You, Indeed, and congratulations. Don't, don't go back to crack. We're yeah. just joking. I know. Without a doubt. I appreciate You're you. You're very funny, clean, and sober. Mm. Very you, funny. And congratulations on a uh, absolutely uh, fantastic 60 second long set. It's thank not, you, Tony, it's not as easy as it looks up I here, and you nailed it from beginning to end. And look, you made this crazy trip. I always love it when the bucket, uh, uh, you know, decides that uh, someone is, uh, is worthy, like you, instead of the two pedophiles that got up before you. You know what I mean? Thank it's like you. a whole different thank you. thing. Yeah, yeah. You made this trip, you took a big chance, and it fucking paid off with like 50, 60 names in this thing you got Goddamn pulled. Right. Congratulations. There goes Scott Wharton, everybody. Thank you, everybody. He's on social media at this is not underscore Great. Scott. There he is. He's getting fist bumps, everybody. There goes Scott Wharton. Scott. I'm going to pull another name out. Crazy. Let's keep it moving along. Marcus Olind, O L I N D. Marcus Olind. Let's get Marcus up here. Here he goes. A nice steady pace. Yes. Hey, that reminds me. Brian Moses and Freddie Gibbs are doing a stand-up show tomorrow at the Vulcan Theater, 8 p.m. Here, one more time for Marcus Olind, everyone. What's up? How's it going? I'm uncircumcised. Where are my uncircumcised guys at? Just me? All right. Recognize some of you guys from the meetings, but I'm not going to call anyone out, all right? Meet every Friday, Foreskin Fridays, but it's anonymous, all right? It's anonymous. I think on Circumcised Guys, I think we're better at sex. I do. I think we care more about it, right? Got a little bit more invested, you know, a little more skin in the game. You know what I'm talking about? (laughs) Hey, my girlfriend thinks my dick is racist. Yeah, my girlfriend thinks my dick is racist. Pretty sure that's because my girlfriend's black and my dick has a white hood on it. I don't really know. It's a KKK joke. There you go. You guys got it. Yeah, me and my girlfriend, we've been dating for three years. Interracial relationship. It's 2021. Nobody's against interracial, right? Anybody against it still? The only people still against interracial relationships are racist people. Because think about it. When you have an interracial relationship, what do you got? Black people, white people getting together, making babies. What do you get? You get what racist people hate the most. Mexicans. Wow, that cat was loud on that one. <laughs> Marcus was. O'Lind. Hell yeah, welcome, welcome. What did thank you, you just you. talk about? You have a black girlfriend? I do, yeah. Oh, okay. What did you just talk about? <laughs> what did you just talk? He talked about his dick for a little bit, but you I probably did. blacked that out. I did, yeah, there it is. <laughs> how long uh, How long you been dating this girl? Uh, three years. Three years. Mm. How long have you looked like a white supremacist? About three years. My nice. goodness, so this all started at once. Did she ask you to go for this look? Did she tell you that uh, she wants to uh, fuck I a guy that looks I re- like... I the... already had it oh, when, yeah. uh, when we started dating, so... You already had what? When he purchased the look. her. How long did you go that beard for? About four years. Does your beard get stuck in her bush ever? I don't go down on her that much, you know what Whoa. I'm saying? Oh! <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> got to get in there like fucking... Oh. Damn. How long have you been not eating pussy for? This is crazy. It's an occasional thing, all right? It's occasional. Okay. What right? the fuck is what going on fuck? here? Occasional. occasional. You need to get it. Summer to... solstice type thing. I'm Bro. trying to buck the white stereotype that all white guys do it. You know what I'm saying? I'm is it because of your beard? Just, it just lingers too long? It does a little bit, yeah. Just shave that beard off and start eating pussy, son. I don't know, man. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's, what, that's I'll my do it for advice. You. I know you didn't ask for it, but I would say that. <laughs> all right. Why, don't uh, be scared of the asshole either. 
I've never done that. I'll be Why? honest. Why? Go crazy. I don't man. know. Go crazy. Okay. Don't be scared. All right. Why is it that you're avoiding the vagina like this? It's not that I'm avoiding it. It's just, you know, we just go to sex. You just go straight to. Can you can you yeah. give us an example of what happens right before insertion? Do you do anything at all? Do you the just credits <laughs> roll on Empire Strikes Back? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Dick just pops out of his pajamas. She likes massages. I give her massages before. Oh, what kind like of movie? massage? Like shoulders? Yeah, back, shoulder. You know. I massage your And credit. then just straight <laughs> insertion. Then you just go to the top rope like a just pro wrestler. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Just go straight to it, you know. Like a wow. ferret. Oh, my yes, goodness. very much ferret fucking. Has it's it always time. been this way, or is it just with this girl you don't like to go uh, downtown? I mean, like, when we started dating, we did it more, but now you it's... Got you got know, lazy. I did. I got lazy. You need to get Girls don't up. like that, do you? You need to attack that yeah. thing. Like, Nobody likes a lazy it. white man. Nope. There it is. There it is. So true. What else? What else about you, Marcus? What do you do for work? Uh, full-time comic right now. Full-time comic? Yeah. Okay. What did you used to do for work? Um, I used to work in finance for a couple of years. Really? Yeah. Wow. You ever thought about being a wizard? <laughs> <laughs> I have thought about it. I don't know if I have the powers, man. Yeah. Maybe no, you should no. start Grand eating wizard. pussy. Grand wizard. That's my dad, but I don't know if <laughs> I can. <laughs> He's got the look. He's got a wizard-like look. Yeah. You from Texas, born and raised? Uh, no, actually, I was born in Germany, but I grew up in Michigan, so... Okay, Holy how shit. long have you been here? Uh, we moved to Dallas like two months ago, and we just come down for Kill Tony. Who's so. we? Uh, me, my girlfriend, and uh, my buddy who we moved with. So. Okay. Oh, you guys got some freak shit going on in your house. Yeah. Well, he eats the pussy, you know what I'm hey! saying? Hey! Outsource it. Outsource it. Where's Take that man? Funniest thing you said. <laughs> yeah. What's that? Take a step oh, that sorry, way and sorry. square Where, up Yeah, where, where's your roommate? Is he here? He wants you to He's out the there. Place. He's eating her out right now. I'm kidding. Oh, I'm shit. kidding. Yeah. Better not fucking. Hey man, <laughs> black yeah. pussy matters. It does. I love it. Does he have that beard too? Do you guys travel like ZZ Bottom? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, he does not. ZZ All right. Bottom. Where did you meet your black girlfriend at? I met my black girlfriend in Detroit. Okay. <laughs> what are the odds? Where do you meet black girls? Right. What are the uh, odds? That's it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's it. This is wow. There's availability. Uh, it's the most yeah. racist post I've ever been a part of. Yeah. Finding a black woman in Detroit is like trying to find an apartment in Los Angeles right yeah. now. It's a, yeah. They are available. They you know are. I and mean? they're there. They're and the price might surprise you. Oh, very interesting. <laughs> I like your style, Marcus. All right, what's the street market value for fucking Detroit black pussy right now? Detroit black pussy? Detroit black pussy? I mean, you know, four or five hundred bucks. Really? Yeah. Is your girlfriend outside? Yeah, she is. Let's talk about this. She's going to kick my ass. I know it. It's going to happen. Uh, no, no. But you're uncircumcised, so she, she likes that. I you, said uncircumcised. Oh, that, you say that you do. Uh, you're a full time comedian. Swing. How long do you? Uh, how long? Uh, how much money do you make doing stand up comedy for a living? Uh, right now? I mean, before COVID, I was making you know three four hundred bucks a month, paying my rent, and then you know driving Uber and other shit. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Rent's only three This was rent. This was Michigan oh, rent. Shit. Michigan rent. Michigan like rent. Eight oh. miles? Seven miles? Jesus Christ. Uh, 10 mile. What fucking trap home is this? You can buy a it house for 300 bucks in Michigan now. Ah, you can, but. 300, 400 bucks? You gotta pay selling, the taxes. I was so. selling black girls on the side. Sure. Maybe we moved to the wrong place. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I got some good deal Michigan. on black pussy if you want to. We could be Michigan, mayor so. there. <laughs> <laughs> we could be mayor. Marcus, what's, uh, what's your favorite thing that, uh, what are you like really good at? Any, uh, any, you ever get a trophy in your life? <laughs> not eating pussy, like, I guess. Yeah, like, believe but... it or not, eating black pussy. I have a championship <laughs> belt and everything. No, you don't. I don't have a skill Dude, of eating black pussy. you can start tomorrow. I'm going to start eating pussy tomorrow? Yeah, man. Just, okay. Just set yourself up. Be determined. What advice do you have on eating pussy? Just like generic. Here's why I think you don't do it. It's a rhythm thing. And I don't want to go back to that old white thing yeah. about you not having rhythm, but I feel like she's like, babe, <laughs> just put that uncircumcised white penis inside of me. We'll both come. We'll go to bed. Do you know my girlfriend? Me. Yeah. Shaniqua, right? You yes. could do it. You no. could do it. Do it to the beat of a song you know. You know, like there, yeah. there, 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 or something like that. <laughs> move your tongue around. There it is. There it there is. You go. Much, much more beautiful. <laughs> or you could do it to the rhythm of a dog smoking crack in a shed. We that, also have maybe that I'll try that one. I feel like it's more ass eating than uh, than pussy eating, but I'm not sure. But you've never, you've never uh, eaten an ass. You've never I tasted have the uh, the sweet, sweet. You've never gone down the old bee cave, no. huh? How I had my ass eaten once, but okay, I had it eaten once, but <laughs> I was that was not consensual. Guys, the fucking white DJ Khaled over here. <laughs> I don't eat pussy. They eat my ass. They suck my dick, and then we go to bed. That's it. Is that wrong? Well, not for you, obviously. <laughs> I'm really happy with your progress. You're a selfish lover, white boy Rick. Why were you born in Germany? How did that end up happening? Uh, I was just 
Born there. Military? Was just, no, not military. No. Um, my parents actually met in Michigan Nazis. and moved back there. Exactly, Nazis. <laughs> they went back to Germany? They went back. <laughs> she grabbed the white man from Michigan and went back. Okay. She's uh, like, we're going to breed. It was a scientific experiment, you know. Breed? So, oh, my God, Fourth <laughs> Reich. I was Captain bred in America the Fourth movie. Reich. My girlfriend does think like I'm an underground German spy, but I don't know if that's true. I'm still waiting for my trigger word, and then I'll just jump into the ship. But. Now, when Canada. you say trigger yeah. with this black girlfriend, <laughs> you feel me, Texas. Dangerous. <laughs> you love those double Gs out here. Hard R. Does she ever call you the N-word in bed? No, she has not. Uh, Man, you guys haven't had any fun yet. I know, I know. Maybe you should eat more pussy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's true. This is all good advice. If I'm eating her pussy and she starts calling me that, I don't know what I'm going to do. I keep, keep going? going? Keep going. <laughs> keep okay. I don't know what I'm going to do. Or should I stop? Should I uh, call I, 911? Yeah. If a black woman's yeah. calling you the N-word while you're eating your pussy, you're doing something absolutely Just right. Just ask for okay, instructions right. and shut yeah. your mouth. <laughs> okay. Oh, you right there. Oh, Dante, Dante. Dante. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Bitch, I'm Marcus. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? Yeah, it's true. <laughs> all right, Marcus. You did it. Thank you, man. There you I go. You've been it. prescribed starting to eat pussy. There he goes. I'm Marcus start. Olind, everybody. He's on, on social media at Beard Von Marcus. M A R K U S. Wow. Tony, you should grow one of them beards. <laughs> Trust Ten, me. 20 years later. I've been trying. Big old wizard beard. Come on. I've been, I've been trying. It doesn't take much trimming to keep this thing. You guys should hire someone to dress up like Fauci and change the microphones. <laughs> hey, that's a good idea. Maybe get a Fauci mask. Yeah. Can you be Fauci for Halloween? <laughs> it must be you a want Halloween me to do mask. It? We can make Zach available. wear a Fauci. Zach, you'd wear a Fauci mask, right? If we oh, yeah. get a Fauci mask. Yeah. They make those? They have to. Of right? course they do. All right. They must. Pull another name out. This looks like a new one. Let's see what happens here. J.T. Stockman. J.T. Stockman is next. Here he comes. Coming in from the socially distanced sidewalk. Bunch of comedians. Through the room. How about giving yourselves a hand for coming out during a global pandemic, huh? Congratulations to you. Bunch of uh, risk, risk takers out there. All right. One more time for J.T. Stockman. Oh, how we doing? Shit. Did y'all hear about that earthquake? No, fuck that joke then. Never mind. <laughs> I got struggles, though. I had a pregnancy scare recently, but then I moved away. <laughs> She'll never find me. She's, uh, she's Amish. It's cool. I fuck with the Amish. It's not bad. Can leave my phone in any room, and I know she's not going to pick that shit up. <laughs> I met a black Amish dude the other day. That was wild as hell. It's very rare. It's like, meet, it's like meeting a Mexican that's an only child. Like, goddamn. <laughs> uh, that girl I knocked up, though, the, up, though too, she's, uh, that's not why we broke up. No, we broke up because she was real woke. She asked me, she was like, babe, if I became a man, would you still love me? I was like, of course I'd love you. Like a brother. I was like, we could hang out and talk about pussy. I just wouldn't want to have sex with you anymore. She got offended by that. I was like, take it like a man, bitch. <laughs> oh, <laughs> thank there you. There you go, JT Stockman. Welcome to the show, JT. How long have you been doing stand-up? A uh, year and four months. Okay. How's it going for you? Uh, it's going pretty well. What was this earthquake joke you almost opened up with tonight? Oh, Every no, that, that's not it. I wasn't planning on it. I knew it wasn't going anywhere. Was there an earthquake? No, I just asked that. There's, there's always earthquakes, but... What the like, fuck are you talking about? Did you about, have bro? a stroke? There's, I'm nervous as hell. I'm sorry. I like, I like Shit. he had a stroke. I think I did. so. I'm freaking out. What hey. would you have said if everyone was like, yeah, we know the earth? Yeah, what would you have said then? You just would have been like, all oh, right. Yeah, me well, too. In other Under news. the next joke. I... All right. I'm sorry. So, I'm, I'm bad Stop at apologizing, all right. first of all. Uh, <laughs> so let's go over it beat by beat because that's what really stood out. Out of the entire minute long set, I never got over wondering what the earthquake <laughs> reference was. Like, even though I you really tried to move leaving. on, I got stuck right there. I'm like, what fucking earthquake is he talking about? Was it here, <laughs> there? What, what, again, what if you do that, if you start with something and then you don't go anywhere with it and you say, fuck that joke right off the bat, you're in a deep hole yep, like, yeah, right absolutely. away. Absolutely. No matter what you do, you, like whatever you talk about when you first get on stage, either be casual talking to the audience. And then when you go into your first premise, you have to go into it. If you're, if you're not interested, they're not going to be interested. And if you're not interested in the earthquake, don't talk about it. 
That's why, like, if you're trying a new joke out, doing it at the very beginning is, like, the worst idea because if it fails, the whole rest of your set, everyone's going to be like, what the fuck was that at the beginning? That's good advice, except sometimes you should start out because you have other jokes, but maybe something just happened and you have this idea, and if you jump into it, like, it forces you to be funny. Like, it forces and sometimes that's the way you find... Like funny shit. Like maybe you have a premise. Something just happened in the news. Yeah. You watched the Woody Allen documentary, and you're like, "Hold the yeah. fuck!" Up. Yeah, you have to measure it out. It's based on, on what's stage. in the zeitgeist, yeah. right? Like you last never week. Know. Last week I did a show at uh, the Vulcan on the Thursday that all the cars got into accidents on the 35. There was a massive pile up, and I did this wacky joke about how I drove from Fort Worth and there was no traffic. I threw a banana peel out the back <laughs> of my convertible. And, Oh, shit. Blah, 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 blah. And it went really well because it happened that day. It wasn't like I went up there and uh, asked about an earthquake that never happened. <laughs> so I'm going to ask you again. Like, Bailed. What, yeah. what made you? What, what, there must no. be something. You must no, have something. Really, Here's I, I, know, I think you have something yeah, yeah. and you don't like it. No. And you're thinking that you don't like it. But I, I think you might like it. No, nah, what? There's really it really goes nowhere. Come on, like, give it to us, please. Bro, no, he really had a was, stroke. And more so was just a play. I, what I had was an anxiety attack. But you know that shit didn't go well either. Wait, what? <laughs> Tony, here's what here's JT's <laughs> biggest problem right now. All right, <laughs> JT comes up. He's handsome. He's average height, right? Yeah. He's white. He's, he's got that. He's got a he's good got look. Accent. He's, he's like if Nate Diaz would have stayed it, in school. Literally, yeah. Comes he up. Left. You're already like, ladies are gonna be like, okay, he's cool. Guys with the ladies are like, fuck this guy, right? And then he does that dumbass joke about the earthquake, and then he doesn't do it non sequitur. He's just like, oh, I fucked that joke up. Now the problem is, JT, you're handsome, right? And half these people don't like you. Half these people do like you. If right. you were the first guy, the the yeah. Frankenstein guy, you can do that joke because you look yeah. weird. Can, you don't look weird, yeah. right? No, you're, get, you're a print model. <laughs> Yeah. You're leaving out funny, so I get it, man. I'm leaving out funny because that, that's not what happened. <laughs> he went down everything else and was like, not funny. Just yeah. everything else. Like, you're you're incredibly it. handsome, right? Okay. Yeah, yeah, and that's I it. I don't know if he's that handsome. I mean, Come God, on. suck his dick, like, Brian. Jesus. What are you doing? He humble. looks like if Neil Patrick Harris had I'm leukemia. I'm saving comedy right now. I'm getting this guy out of there. He's going to go be a print model or a construction worker. I was a construction worker before this. Clearly, I, I see the thermal. I know what's going on. Where were you? Uh, you were thermal? a construction worker at uh, what? Uh, what the fuck's it called? <laughs> <laughs> Abercrombie and Fitch. Uh, Abercrombie and Fitch. Teddy, you what's build that shelves. Fucking, what's oh. the male strip club called? Teddy. Uh, you're not a geek though, Jake. Chip and Don't go in there, there hard like you with that Amish joke. Fucking get in there with the no, meat first of all. You know what I mean? Chip you're a meat dude. You know? That's Look at right. meat right here. You know? Meat, go in there and fucking meat. nail Moses, what's going on over here? Really? Sorry. <laughs> I'm talking to Jay. I'm saying like go in there with meat. Don't go in there with some like non sequitur fucking East Side LA bullshit. Like you're a fucking alt comic. Go in there being like, yeah, I'm as bitches. Fuck them. They can't check my phone. And then go from there. Get there mm. with confidence. You're a confident looking dude. It's Why true. That earthquake shit you did left you on shaky ground. Ironically. <laughs> JT, is there anything interesting about you? Something that you've accomplished or a trophy that you've won in your life? Something that you've done successfully? Something that you're good at? Something you got a certificate for, perhaps? Or that you moved up a rank or learned something in your life? All I, stay safety. I got HVAC certified in the Navy. HVAC? Yeah, there we What's go. What's that again? It's just AC and R. ventilation and air conditioning. Yeah. I, I run a mini split. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> Holy shit. Hell yeah, he's on top of it. He knows. Damn, dude, you dropped your go. fucking yeah. HVAC out here. Yeah, you don't no, know about run, HVAC, son. <laughs> I run a Texas thing, sure. You don't know no construction stuff. I thought he got his vaccination or That's something. What I thought. <laughs> What's going on? I'm yeah. like, oh, you got your. Oh, you got the herpes vac. Yeah, HVAC. <laughs> Just call it a vac for short. I think most so. people know what that means. Yeah? In this thing. Most yeah. people know what that means? HVAC? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah you fucking dorks. Texas all their guys. fathers work in the industry. They yeah. all bitches, know what HVAC is. Bitches have, don't know shit about drywall. They all have dads that fucking talked about stucco. it. Like, oh, I had to work on the HVAC today. <laughs> what the fuck do you people know about stucco? <laughs> <laughs> you don't know JT, shit any, anything, about any, any music, dancing, anything? You sing at all? Hell no, I can't do any of that shit. <laughs> anything athletically that you're good at? I mean, nah, I just work out and everything like that. What kind of workouts oh. do you do? I do body, I mean, I do body weight butt? workouts. Body, motherfucker, don't try and switch me up oh. like that. God we damn. Know, we know you do bottom. What else oh, do yeah. you do? <laughs> <laughs> do you even Shit. lift, bro? Sorry? How much do you lift? Oh no, I don't lift like that. Oh. I'm too. I'm not. I know. Oh no. shit! Gosh. Look at this. I'm busy working all the time. I got shit to do. I'm Work shit to AC do, units. bro. Yeah, he's doing HVACs and everything okay. like that. Yeah. Hop off my dangles, goddamn. 
And you're working construction, you said? No, I, work, I used to work construction uh-huh. over in South Florida. How about now? Now I run a, the mini split installation with my buddy out of Houston. You run the what? It's a mini split, just the, another term for ACs. AC oh, okay, yeah, air yeah. conditioning. And oh, then yeah, I know yeah. all about no, that installation. shit. Installation. Then- H-back <laughs> fucking all the way. What do you oh, yeah, want to do like with comedy? Do you want to be a professional comedian? I want to get better. I mean, I want to get better. I like to write a lot. That was the big thing. You know, I'm, I'm dyslexic, so that was the big problem with that. That's an issue. With just oh, writing. Oh, I, I have, I, I, that I, I, explains I, I, the earthquake I have joke. A whole joke. And That's I have a whole show about Wow, you wrote your set list tonight backwards. You're like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it happens. Oh, so he ends his set with that. It all <laughs> makes sense. <laughs> I can't yeah, after I say, there he goes, J.D. Sogman. He's like, thank you, Earthquake. Good night. Good morning. <laughs> good afternoon. Earthquake. I can't even spell the word. Thank dyslexia. you. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> fucked up. Oh, this is a song called Dyslexic Heart from Paul Westerberg. You don't know this song? No. Someone does, though. All right, that's enough. I don't know what's going on right now. Nah, I was fucked up tonight just building up uh, anticipation back there. When your name gets called, it's like, fuck. When has dyslexic ever backfired in your life? Has there ever been a time or a moment when it really. uh, When I'm texting, people think I'm drunk. So. Oh. That's a. Yeah. Okay. That's a good. It's not bad. Yeah. Hilarious. <laughs> Especially when you're dyslexic I, I after like 1 a.m., right? I do a lot of voice text. Just do text to speech, son. Yeah, I've learned that. <laughs> All right. Well, JT, uh, hopefully it's better. Li- <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> hopefully, uh, you know, you learned something about how important opening a set with a little bit of uh, confidence and, yeah, uh, gotcha. you know, you just got to fool them for a couple seconds. and then uh, Work on that earthquake bit, bro. <laughs> Appreciate it. Thank you. My there he goes. JT on. underscore Stockman on the internet. <laughs> wow. Ah! Fun fact, there's a comedian named Earthquake. But he, And you might be wondering, does Earthquake ever open up with a JT Stockman joke? <laughs> no. He doesn't. All right. Hey, look at this. Put your hands together for Thomas Siska, everybody. Right there in the front row. Oh, wow. I do believe this is the young man that made the new Texas bucket. You, you. One more time for Thomas, everyone. All right, yeah. You know, everybody thought I was real stupid when I told them I was going to start a snow plowing business here in Austin last week. But boy, I made some money. And for everyone else, y'all hit me up on Instagram, born to plow. That's born to plow. Um, I like the show Naked and Afraid. Uh, I feel like they should switch it up a little bit. Like maybe do the Urban Jungle Edition where they drop you off at 7th and Red River. Just hope for the best. Preferably in the middle of the dark winter. Um... Or better yet, how about we change up the rules and we do clothed, armed, and confident, where they just give you all the tools to get out of a sticky situation. I'm going to come out a winner. Uh, I'm actually a little bit afraid of Kamala Harris. But yeah, because her name sounds a little bit too much like Kali Ma, the Hindu god of war, death, and blood sacrifice. Something about it when she's like talking is condescending. Her eyes turn jet black, her tongue sticks out, and she's like... <laughs> We got to take it serious. We do. <laughs> We're not joking. We got to get the vaccines. <laughs> Who's my favorite rapper alive? Tupac. There you go. Thomas Siska going over his allotted time Thank to you. do that joke. Welcome to the show, Thomas. Is this your first time here? Uh, this is uh, my first time performing here in Austin for Kill Tony. There you go. I, I, did, a, I did a Kill Tony set in Plano, Texas. Okay. Plano. How did that go? I, th- I think this went a little better. I'm, I'm, I'm doing better right now because I'm facing the audience, and last time, everybody just stared at my ass, so I was, I was kind of turned like this, and, and the angle of the camera. I, I was looking forward to not showing my ass the whole time, so. Okie dokie. Wow. Yeah. Really fuck? your own thing yeah. going on so, there. So, so, so I'm already winning, yeah. Oh my God. Do, you have a gotta, plow? Do you have a plow that you put on your truck, and what's your number? Well, no. <laughs> it's a Jeep Patriot. 
And uh, but you have it's a work problem. in progress. No, I think I, w- I think it was joking. Yeah, oh, yeah, I do. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I thought was weird is that like in Ohio, everybody had plows that they could attach to their trucks. Everyone has trucks out here, but no one had plows to attach to the trucks. Yeah, it snows crazy. more in Ohio. It's right. a different different. Well, place. I'm just saying, I'm if you had that, you I can't can. figure it, it out. When I was in Alaska, everybody had plows. I, I think the ice is growing every year, so it's a smart investment. So yeah, I agree. I, whoever gets there first, you know, is gonna make some money. Indeed. It goes yeah. up and down. The amount of snow that we get goes up and down, season to season. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so, Thomas, let's talk about your real life. Uh, okay. Stand up. How long have you been doing it? Uh, two years. Two years. All of it here in Austin? I started here in Austin. I've done uh, some sets in New Orleans, traveled around a little bit, done some shows outside of Austin. And okay. What do you do for work? Currently, I'm unemployed. Sure. Yes. How long have you been unemployed for? Uh, March 17th, when the shit hit the fan. Right. What were you doing before that? I was working at a little Italian restaurant uh, on Congress Avenue. Oh, okay. You want to yep. give them... Yep. Wanna... <laughs> yes. Wow. It was actually... It was going to reopen, and there was like a there was a shooting that happened out front, and they made like a candlelight vigil, and uh, they haven't reopened since then. Wow. Look yeah. at that. How Italian is this restaurant? When they lit the candles, <laughs> when they lit the candles for the vigil, did they at least put like some shrimp scampi above it and a pan or something like that? Yes, yes. Uh, <laughs> Who they, got shot? Uh, he, the guy with the AK that had like the paraplegic girlfriend. Oh, that yeah. Was... <laughs> bra, bra. My goodness, I didn't even know this. Happened. That one closed down your restaurant. Well, I warned her, I warned the owner like a week before. I was like, "Hey, you know, a lot of people are canceling reservations from these uh, these protests. I guess they're feeling a little threatened." Uh, she's like, "Really?" I'm like, "Yeah." She closed that night, and I was already in Louisiana visiting my family, and that shit happened. And I was like, "Damn!" There was a shooting there because I don't know about this AK-47 paraplegic thing. Yeah, I know. It's it's it's. There's a lot going on there. I mean, there's plenty of we can laugh at, but it's really unfortunate. What? What are you running for governor right now? The fuck are you uh, talking I'm, about? Yes, I'm, I'm ask, yes, born to plow. I'm you asking to you, you to describe to the listeners who might okay, not know so, the local so, accident. Okay, so so this man had an AK-47 and a paraplegic black girlfriend. He was a white man, and he felt that he needed. Wait, to wait, 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 wait. Why does she have to be black? In because this? it was a Black Lives Matter march. Gotcha. 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 I was getting black, there. There it is. She's black and paraplegic. Yes. Oh, I'm not going to make a joke. Go uh, ahead. Oh, come on, Tony. No, you go ahead. I'm going to think of one. <laughs> yeah. Go I ahead. mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, put your nubs up, right? And, wait, she, wait, stop. <laughs> stop. I don't know what just happened. Did Sorry. She, I, I, Thomas, you, over here. On. Thomas, stop fucking talking right now. Just got look it. at me. Pay attention and breathe. Did she? She's the one that got shot. No, Tony. Okay, she did the shooting. No, Tony. <laughs> well, how did she fit into all of this? She was getting pushed around by the boyfriend, right? <laughs> In the middle of the street on Congress Avenue. They didn't have a permit. They're just marching the street with May guns and, and paraplegic people. Wait, what? And somebody... Hold on. May I tell the yeah. actual story? Yes, please yeah. do. <laughs> Joe Rogan's going to tell the story. So please, Joe. There was him. a. Black Lives Matter protest, and the man was an Uber driver. He was also a veteran with a concealed carry permit. He his his uh, his Uber car was on Waze, and it took him right into the protest. He didn't understand what was going on. He didn't know that the road was shut down, and he drove towards the crowd. He stopped the car, and the guy put an AK-47 in his window. Oh. He had no idea what was going on. He pulled out a gun and killed the guy. Mm. The guy with the AK-47 <laughs> was pointing it at various people that got too close to the protest because he Jesus. thought that people were, you know, they wow. were driving towards it like they were going to run everybody over. It was a terrible misunderstanding, and they didn't under- know. He, I don't think they knew what the fuck was going on. It's just a, a bad scene overall because the dude was open carrying with this large rifle, right. and the other dude was just driving an Uber. And then they—it's they crazy the that, that 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 whole up. law to where you're allowed to just carry around uh, a black female paraplegic <laughs> like that. I mean, it is just there. It is there. It is. <laughs> Oh, ha, ha, ha. son of a bitch! There it is. Did you think I forgot about you? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I just didn't know that that no, shut. But, that shut that restaurant. But no, down. seriously. R.I.P. And uh, yeah, I've been out of work since then. So what uh, was the name of the Italian restaurant? 
Was he uh, mad because lot, they were? Was he mad because they were in their like their parking space? No, 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 no. No, he, the, no it was an Italian guy with the AK-47. Didn't know what was happening. And he was right? Italian this though. This guy moves towards him with the car. He thinks the guy's gonna run them over, so he pulls out the gun. The guy in the car, apparently, this is what, what I read. He sees the guy pointing an AK-47 at him. He just instinctively—he's a veteran—instinctively shoots the guy and kills him. It's a disaster. <laughs> Don't laugh, son of a bitch. <laughs> Look at this evil fuck. Oh, the Joker, the real yeah, Joker. So Fuck funny. Joaquin Phoenix. Look at him. Look at him. But but yeah. So I've I've just been doing comedy since then. I have I've no, I've yet to I have yet to do a joke about that until we brought it up tonight. You said, "Why aren't you working?" And I'm like, "Well, Tony, you know, somebody got shot." Bro, the cops are here for you. Just get the fuck out of here. <laughs> they Go to really the back. Are. All right. Take Thomas. you away. I love it. Do you, what did you do at the Italian restaurant? I, I served tables and poured right. wine. Wow. I, I, I like to cook, though, so I could easily get back there, but, uh, you know. Gotcha. That, that just wasn't open for me. Well, so. Were they hiring for the, you for that? Yeah, they know they hired me to serve, so. But I do enjoy cooking a lot. What's your favorite meal to make? Uh, Philly cheesesteaks is, like, my, like, oh, OG, my like, go-to. Italian to. cuisine. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Little... For sure. Oh, for I sure. just love it. Nothing, Philly Italians than, make the best food. Nothing better than some bruschetta and some <laughs> red wine and then, uh, you know, a delicious burrata, salad, yeah. right, and then no, a I good mean, old fucking Philly cheesesteak chick, right on Chicken marsala, you know, I do some Italian stuff, chicken franchise and oh, bolognese okay. and all the goods. Okay. Some Cajun stuff. Absolutely. All right. All right. White boys love Italian food. Yes, yes. All right, Thomas. Well, congratulations. Thank you so much, and thank you. You made the bucket, right? I'm, you, yeah, this is a this was a, a a nice little collab with me and my girlfriend, and uh, I fucking you know, love we do it, our man. work, awesome. and uh, yeah, you know, keeping the tradition. Oh yeah, alive. kill Tony. Thanks a lot for having me, and uh, thanks for coming on, Thomas Siska. Everybody, rolling. there he goes. This is pretty cool. Or, or, well, the Undertaker? Yeah, it's cool. That's Austin's cool. own The Undertaker. All right. I hope I get this right. Ta Nguyen or Tam Nguyen or T-A-L or T-A-I perhaps. Win. N-G-U-Y-E-N. The Asian kind of win with an N. Here it comes. Hell yeah. All Hell right. yeah. We know Tam Nguyen. This is the return of a... It's been a long time since we've seen this guy. Here he is, everybody. Tam Nguyen. Hey, what's up, everybody? Can everybody hear me? <laughs> um, I'm going to be honest. I got really depressed during COVID because they shut everything down and I couldn't perform. So I, I was just at home watching uh, Dave Chappelle on Netflix, trying to, you know, gain some motivation. And I found out that Dave Chappelle used the N-word in his comedy a lot. And he would use it as, like, the punchline. And I thought, wow, that's amazing. What could I find for Asian that's the equivalent to the N-word? And I thought about it for weeks. And the only word I could come up with was accountant. <laughs> hey, what's up, my accountant? You want to hit the strip club and make it rain on them hoes proportionally? Girl, I'll do your taxes for some nap dance. <laughs> That's it. Good That's to see you again. Good to see you again, my friend. How long has it been? Um, five years in Spider House. Five years, and that's right. That's yeah. where we know you from. Spider House Ballroom here in Austin, yeah. Texas. We were doing live Kill Tonys, and you came in and fucking... Hey, what's happening at that place now? I'm not sure. Uh, I love that place so much. Yeah, I hope it come back, because it was one of, like, the best places for comedy. I'm yeah. sure it will. Yeah. And they have multiple stage, stages outside. These amazing venues, I'm sure they're going to We were there with, up. like, Tiffany Haddish, right? No, yeah. uh, Ashley Barnhill. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. This yeah, was that's... when y'all were first starting out, right? Well, no, we started almost eight years ago. Okay. So but yeah, three years. you were there. Yeah. I bet it feels like you were part of the start. It was your start of being on the show. Yeah. How do you say your first name, the handwriting? Uh, it's Ty. Ty. Ty Wynn? Yeah. Ty Wynn. Okay, got it. 
So, Ty, what have you been doing the last five years? Um, Other than working on that Asian fucking mullet you got going on back yeah. there, huh? So, um... Potty you know, in the back. A little... Little something in the front and a lot in the back. The hair in the back, long time. <laughs> Bro, don't tolerate this. I was going to say, Ty, you ain't, you ain't got to take that time. Throw a ninja star at him. It's time for action. Come on, guys. I'm allowed to make fun. I've known him along. This is my math tutor, everybody. It's, this is my math tutor. So, Ty, what have you been up to the last five years? Um, so I shot a stand-up special at the Paramount. And, uh, right, man, relax on the Asian music. I right? mean, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Christ. <laughs> I mean, my God. It's okay if it's, like, under <laughs> everything, but when, it, when it's <laughs> the loudest <laughs> thing on the show. <laughs> Janice was calling me. It's just my ringtone. I didn't. That is true. That is true. Ty could sort of be a stunt woman oh, for yeah. your girlfriend Definitely. if you ever needed one. But Especially it, when you're hitting it from behind. <laughs> yeah, tighter asshole. I, I wouldn't really recommend it for the missionary position. No. <laughs> Guys, I don't think Ty's in on any of these jokes. <laughs> <laughs> Look at his face. He's like, this, this is, is the exact good. same thing that happened uh, three years ago. Yeah, Five absolutely. Ago. It like, accidentally, and you get it. That's yeah, the fun part. I got it. Well, you know, there's still room for improvement. Yeah. yeah. Back when the show was in the she part of town. Yeah. It was, we were up on uh, campus, Spider House Ballroom. So let's talk about it, Ty. You've been doing stand-up now for how many years? Five years. Five years. And you still got it, still command everybody's attention on stage. I know you had me smiling from your first words up here. Very, very easy to listen to. Surprisingly easy to understand. Shockingly easy to look at for some reason. It's great. It's great. I love how you said Dave Chappelle. <laughs> you added many, many more uh, syllables than what needed on that. But, uh, but we, oh we got it. Oh, my God. So, Ty, what do you do for work? I drive for DoorDash. You drive for DoorDash? Oh, you shit. You ever eat people's fries? Don't lie. Oh, my God. We got, can you imagine this guy pulling up to your house? Just fucking... <laughs> <laughs> That's so stupid. DoorDash here! <laughs> this is so uncomfortable. <laughs> this is it. Uh, what kind of Asian are you? What, what the Good fuck? What the Good fuck question. is going on in this? Kill Tony. Y'all came to Texas. Yes, we just went like, back in time God damn to the it. fucking 50s. You were talking about that shit today on yes, the podcast. Yes, I was. Uh, you were talking about this exact These thi are the jokes we were allowed to do in 2013 when we started this show, and we're going to still do them. Yes. <laughs> God damn it. These people, <laughs> these people bought tickets for a live show, and we're not going to fuck it up. <laughs> <laughs> these people paid good money to hear that fucking... E e Asian stereotypes. Hey, All you right. know who would be excited? <laughs> Stop this. What are you doing? Stop it. I don't even know what that what racist say, sound Ty? effect is. Listen, Brian, I need you to be you water, my friend. Be water. Hey, you had a question. Yeah. You know who would be excited to watch this? Who would be excited to watch this? Paul. Paul? Paul Provenza. Paul Provenza would be excited to watch this episode? Yeah. You're Why? friends with Paul. Yeah, okay. we met at the comedy store with Paul. But yeah. I met you, I met you before that on Kill before Tony. Before that, but we met again in right. L.A. due to Paul. Uh huh. How do you know Paul Provenza? Uh, it's a weird segue, by the way. He he saw my stand-up special. Uh huh. Yeah. He saw it. Yeah, I sent it to him. Okay. And then oh, you guys yeah. became friends. Yeah, and he's kind of. Does he know me. your friends? Yeah, he's helping me on my documentary. Okay. okay. He's helping you on your diamond earring? Just want to make sure he's in no. on this. <laughs> documentary, Tony. Oh, it's documentary. I thought he said diamond earring. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> Paul might not even know what's going on here. Yeah. He, be, he might be like, wait, wait, what? 
<laughs> I know. What did I do? Well, I can't wait for him to watch this episode. It'll no, be on YouTube, right? Yeah, of course, Ty. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> of course. It'll be yes. like the weirdest thing for him to watch. We're going to preemptively block him. Yeah. <laughs> so, Ty, tell us more about your life since then. You have a girlfriend? Uh, no. When's the last time you had a girlfriend? Five years ago. Wow. When's the last time you got laid? Five years ago. Really? Yeah. Why is this? A lot of discipline. Um, I just feel like... <laughs> Stop it, Red Band. Son Stop of a it. bitch. Red Band. You son of a bitch. You're going overboard. Even I have to say pull back. These are the most racist sound effects I've ever heard you play. I don't know if it can get any more racist. We're flying right into the mountain, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Red Band. Red Band. This is... These Asian people are very serious about their... Uh... Did he answer you about the origin of his uh, ethnicity? Yeah, what, what was yeah, it? What? I'm Vietnamese. Oh. Vietnamese, oh yeah. These people, very hard to kill. Vietnamese. Very hard to kill. Did you say very hard to kill? Yeah. Yeah, we had a war against them and they put I up a I might hell- have to leave. <laughs> I might have to. Yeah, what are you talking Whoa. about, Tony? I that was the worst thing ever. To. They are the hardest people to I murder. I might have to put this microphone down and flee. Because Spotify can only tolerate so much. You could. They've, been, they've been so kind up until now. Shit, not to today's I'm episode. I, <laughs> wait till you see today's. Not Freddie today's. Gibbs went crazy. Not today's episode. Oh, my God. Sure. We're, we're for sure getting canceled. What's your favorite thing about being Vietnamese, Ty? Don't say the food. Um, it's um. The lady boy. How much fun you can have being up here, being Vietnamese? There's not much fun you can it, have. It give y'all material to riff on. Well, it's good. And how about this? Yeah, that's absolutely true. It's true. That's that's a secret to the show. A secret recipe is during your interview, give us something to make fun of. Hey, you the know, last guy did it. You think that, that you think the poor innocent black paraplegic lady had anything to do with him getting fired? At all. I don't think that was in his act. <laughs> I think he was just talking that's what about I'm saying, his history. During, during what the, is that about this town? Like everybody just has to point out like who the black girls are? Yeah, no, it's crazy. I actually have a show Wednesday, maybe, at Vulcan. Uh, I would love to have you open the show. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you. look at that. Thank you. No, that. no, no. Look at that. No. You guys. Uh, Do it. Do it. <laughs> Do it, you son of no, a bitch. Now it's, now, now it's too much pressure. No, he means open the show with, like, hitting a gong. That's. Oh. Oh, oh, I can't be fucking racist. It's okay when these motherfuckers do it. <laughs> He's got a point. He's got a legitimate oh, point. I, I heard an. Oh, I said a gong joke. They literally fucking nothing but gong noises. Why is gong That'll be a long time. Right. You guys are losing right. your fucking minds. I say, oh, he's gonna open the show with the gong, everybody. Oh. Why is that racist? The fuck is wrong with this? Title? Why is that racist? This show is racist. That doesn't make any sense. Racist. <laughs> Like, if a gong went off every time you walked in the room, that'd be kind of cool. That'd be lit. <laughs> that'd be so you fun. Know? That would be cool. It's like you won the lottery, and that was one of the parts of the deal. Ty, every what, time you walk in the room. What, what other than stand-up <laughs> comedy and uh, DoorDash, like, what else do you do? you have any other hobbies or anything that else that you're into? Um, since uh, COVID, I've been really into cryptocurrency. Cryptocurrency. To like the moon. You. Wow. What have you been doing? Uh, can you give us any uh, inside information? Um, I've been stacking Cardano, uh, Zilliqa, oh. VeChain, and uh, Ethereum. Wow, so you know the good some. shit. That's it. Yeah. Those, are my, those are three of my favorite sushi rolls you just named right then. I love it. All right, Ty. Well, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. He's like, for fun, I light myself on... All right, there he goes, Ty Wynn, everybody. The return Thank of Ty you. Wynn. Thank you so much. For you longtime listeners, you just saw a uh, old school legend. It's been a long time since Ty Wynn. Go check out those old Austin <laughs> episodes from the Spider House Ballroom. We had fun. Crooked F Beats on social media. I think that one was going to be a real issue. You might want to edit that one out. No, no, we're gonna we're gonna actually extend that one. We're gonna we're gonna roll it twice. This is gonna be choppy. This- Kill Tony is going to be the thing that gets my new play shut down. <laughs> no, no, it's not. For sure. 
No. Roast battle and kill Tony. Sorry. Oh, yeah. 100%. Oh, those maybe. are two things we're going to institute Woo. immediately. <laughs> That's why I dated an Asian girl, Joe. <laughs> Good call, Brian. Way to think ahead. All right. Let's do something special. You guys want something special? All right, I'll do it anyway. Is that black paraplegic girl here? You're you're not you're not that far off, but uh, a little bit off. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for uh, a regular here on this show. He's an absolute monster comedian. Over 20 years of experience uh, coming from Second City in Chicago. Started stand up after finding out that he got a uh, ALS because he always wanted to do stand up, and was ridiculously good at it. He's been writing and performing a new minute on this show ever since. He's been killing it on all the shows here in town. Killed it on my show, killed it on Red Band's show last week doing stand-up. Ladies and gentlemen, you're in for a treat. It's a brand new minute from the great Michael Lair. Fuck yeah. Come on, guys. You got to get loud for Michael Lair, everybody. Fuck yes. He's got this shit. Guys, one more time, Michael Lair. Yo, my doctor said I might be an alcoholic because every morning at sunrise, I have a sunrise medicinal medical beer, right? And she said, you might get dementia. I'm a professional public speaker. What I'm saying to you right now is memorize. The rest of me is a fucking dumpster fire. Why the fuck are we talking about dementia? Look at my hand. I can't even sign the birthday card of the son I abandoned. Uh, how funny would it be if I got dementia, though, right? <laughs> Every five minutes I forget I can't walk, and I get them, it just collapses to the ground like Tower 2, World Trade Center. 9-11, never forget! Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Michael Lair does it again. Comes in every single week with a brand new minute. Every single week. So just to like put it into some perspective for you people that maybe it's your first time, maybe you just come here sometimes. All these other people that you've seen tonight are coming with most likely their best minute of their career. Yeah, Tony. And but Michael comes in every week. Right, but Ryan's mad I'm not a hot construction worker. <laughs> no, nope, <nope>, don't shoot. <laughs> wow. I mean, I like you your gloves know. and your watch, Mike. What? Mike has great style. Yeah. Thank you. You know, um... What a crazy fucking week, huh? Yeah. I, I live in North Austin. I lost all my power. I just stay on a hotel by Rainy Street. And um, every city has a block like Rainy Street, a party street. And if you're not familiar, it's like a bunch of... Gay oil tycoons. <laughs> turn, turn a bunch of bars into dollhouses. <laughs> so I will the trust fund day rapists have a comfortable place to drink. Michael motherfucking Lair. You know what, too? We're getting a lot of shit. Oh, Hollywood's moving to Texas. Hollywood's moving to Texas. 
On Randy Street, a burrito costs $14. <laughs> California's been here a long fucking time. For $14, that burrito better suck my dick. <laughs> that burrito better be a fucking flashlight. <laughs> hey, hey, also, also, every ramp on Randy Street leads to one step, one stair. Every ramp. Is that some cowboy way type bullshit? <laughs> oh, we'll give you a ramp, you Yankee faggot. But there'll be a step at the end. <laughs> oh, the beer. Oh, the beer on Randy Street. Bartender's like, that'll be $12.65. I'm sure I wanted the beer. I didn't need, I didn't know I needed to bring a fucking abacus. Hey, they're not all bangers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they are. Hey, I brought you something, Michael. I brought you some uh, delicious liquid IV. Oh, oh, we like to keep Michael hydrated. Yeah. It's a big uh, part of... Uh, I got you watermelon and the new strawberry. For those of you that don't know, Red Band and I drink these every single day. Yeah. Especially <laughs> after a long night of drinking or the morning after or maybe before a workout or a Red Band's... Br I work out, Red Band, after he eats after breakfast or something. Sleep. It's all <laughs> Is this a fucking ad? No, these are the... <laughs> Do you sneak... These you are sneak the an add in. No, oh, we're just we're just a fucking add in. We're just sharing liquid IV with Michael. And I mean, it just so happened. What a coincidence! If you use the promo code Tony, you get twenty percent off. But I mean, we're just being good friends. Yo, I might as well be the blind guitar people, guys, person, because I can't see anybody. <laughs> Wait, why can't you, why can't you see? We were doing good about thirty seconds ago. <laughs> <laughs> why can't you see anybody? Um, oh, we're back here around. behind you. Yeah, don't turn around, as the great Ace of Base once said. <laughs> don't turn around. I don't want you to see my heartbreak. Don't turn around. Uh, uh oh. <laughs> That's a, you guys all sang different songs. <laughs> <laughs> Common sense and tell uh oh. Interesting, <laughs> interesting fact about Ace of Base. One member is a former neo-Nazi. Oh, we should have seen the signs. Yeah. <laughs> I saw the signs. I don't know. Sometimes. Oh, oh my God. How do you do that? Outstanding. Sometimes. How do you know. do that? I don't know. Outstanding. You're the best. I mean, I just, you know. You're the best. There's if, no one better. If there was a 40-yard dash for stand-up comedy, I'd have, a, I'd have a medal of some kind, unfortunately. <laughs> That's right, everybody. Liquid IV. Just type in the promo code Tony. Stop it. <laughs> All you, right. get a, you get a discount with the promo code Tony? 25%. Yeah. Oh, my God. That's a good value. Absolutely. Yeah, they got Rogan in the ad. Now they're selling these bitches now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Electrolytes are important, especially during this pandemic. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> Boil water notice. That's why I like the tangerine flavor. It adds zinc. <laughs> All of us cautious people in this crowded room with no masks on <laughs> should Some be concerned Patriots about our me. electrolyte levels. Absolutely. It really Man. is. This stuff works. Man, I hope I get to meet the dude behind me. <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious. Hilarious. Hey. That's what she said. How dare you? you John son D's of a bitch. on the keys. He He's pulled good. that microphone towards him one time the whole show just for that joke. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she said. Michael Lair, everything's good. You did survive the snowstorm. Yeah, I got a haircut. Oh, yeah. look at yeah. that. Yeah. I went to an African American barber. Oh. And every time I go to an African American barber, I go, here's what I want. And he goes, I, I got you, I got you, I got you. And then he cuts his hair my hair to look exactly like his <laughs> and it, and ignores everything i told him wait a minute wait a minute did this it, it, let me african just, american barber have a, like, was it perm was it, 
Fried died laid to the side. I've never seen a black barber with no waves. Yeah. I, I think there's more to this joke. <laughs> no, um, Brian, you're right. I took home my do-rag back there. That's all I wanted to hear, Mike. It could have been worse. Your, your black barber could have been a female paraplegic. So, I know, uh, man. Okie dokie. Uh, <laughs> all right. It's hard to find scissors where hole is big enough for the nubs. All right, okie dokie. Uh, Give me some more. Um, Michael Lair getting a fist bump there from now uh, we the both great have Brian COVID. Moses. Uh, Michael, we are going to uh, we're going to get one more comedian up here because we realize we haven't had a lady up today. So we're going to pull from the bucket to get one girl up here, and then we're going to end the show. That sound fun with you guys? Wow! Wow! Was... Not a big fan of female Where's Freddie comedians. Gibbs? Who the fuck big, is Freddie Gibbs? Not a big fan of the females, this audience here. You I'm guys, one of Freddie Gibbs. You guys I'm didn't one. mind Nikki Glazer on know. HGH. <laughs> All right, here comes Zach Bogus. He's going some direction. Right, you can keep Michael, you can keep Michael up here. Know. Michael, back up towards uh, you. Mind back Michael, come oh. sit next to me, brother. Can you come over here? Come over there. Sit next to Joe. Yeah. Yeah, when I said back up, I didn't mean just... Hit it reverse right now. I thought you'd pull forward first. And, uh, I'm sorry. Life is so fucking easy for me. <laughs> Here we go. Here goes Michael. Hey. Did you guys have fun tonight? We haven't had a female up here. Believe it or not, racist jokes, this, that aside. We are equal opportunity uh, partners here at Kill Tony. So we believe that even though a bunch of guys signed up, that a woman deserves a shot. Even though the odds of the bucket are balanced against her from Stevens and Justins and Charles's. Literally a guy named Guy. Here we go. Your final comedian of the night and your first female this evening. Goes by the name of Ashley Simon, everyone. Here she comes from the audience. This is very exciting. Our first ever, our first tonight audience bucket pool. Everyone else has been comedians coming from the sidewalk. One more time, Ashley Simon. Uh, so I've had epilepsy since I was seven, so obviously I've got some good uh, epileptic attack stories. And my favorite's actually whenever I went on a hinge date and we drank a lot that night, went back to fuck at his place. Uh, I ended up having a seizure, but I didn't have the heart to tell him it's because I'm allergic to mescal. I just let him think his dick was that good. <laughs> Um, but I've taken medication my whole life and it sucks so bad that I put a magnet inside of me and that helps stop seizures. And my friend takes medication for epilepsy and he just gets random boners. So I was like, that's not fair. Like if I were to take this magnet and swipe it to stop seizures, like what would my ideal situation be? It would be fucking orgasms, right? Like every time I swipe my magnet, I have an orgasm. I wouldn't have to fucking like fake orgasms with guys from Hinge. There you go, Ashley Simon. <laughs> Ashley, welcome, welcome. How long have you been doing stand-up? Um, I don't know, like... There's a minute. Oh, nice. Go okay. ahead. I finished faster than that guy did. Um, hey, I, look at that. I, I've done theater for a while. haven't really uh, done stand-up So much. this is your first time? Yeah. Ashley Simon, everybody. Wow. There you go. Stop this. Brian's playing strobe light videos to try to get her to have a seizure on stage. Got the magnet, bro. Try again. So where do they put this magnet? Where do they the put this in? Oh, spot right here. Whoa, look at that. And then I've got this sick Columbia necktie where they put the wires in that go to my brain. Wow. Yeah. That's wild. When Disabilities, did, am I right? When did you have that put in? Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey. hey. Time out. He's not the only one. Black Lives Matter, shit. <laughs> what you got? Uh, I'm a lecture retarded. <laughs> Fair enough. I can still collect a disability on it. There you shit, go. So did they tell you why you ended up being predisposed to seizures? Uh, just like a shitty luck of the draw. Okay. It's like a DNA so thing. The the magnet has wires and the wires go up Yeah, to... it's called... <laughs> bet you didn't know that you are going to learn something tonight. It's called, it's called an called HVAC. A, nope. Okay. Vegas Nerd... <laughs> Fastest gun in the West, dude. Son of a bitch. 
Jesus. You son of a bitch. Very fast. The so vagus nerve stimulator runs a wire up your oh, vagus, vagus nerve, nerve and massages it all nice and sends electrical impulses to uh, regulate brain activity or some <laughs> shit, apparently. I paid like $60,000 for it, whatever. Wow. Thanks, Medicaid. God damn, and it's, God so damn. it's inside of your body. Yeah, I give consent to touch. You want to touch but it? Does it ever I run it out right here. of juice no, or it's, anything? No. It's, it's not like an iPhone. It holds charge for it a really no long time. It has no battery or nothing? No. No. Yeah, no USB. Sure. Five years, six years, just I'm like my weird. IUD. Wow. You have an IUD as well? <laughs> Obviously. My goodness. Wow. Oh, yeah. I don't like to bleed on bed sheets. Absolutely. That's rude. A lot of metal in that body. <laughs> Cyborg. Hell yeah. You, in the, wires, the wires go up your neck? Yeah, the vagus nerve. The vagus nerve. Uh-huh. Wow. Why did yeah. they call it that? I don't know. I don't remember. Spelled just like regular different. Vegas. V-A-G-U-S. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> Works for me. The great Joe Rogan is here. This guy reads. This guy, <laughs> this guy reads. Right? Educated. <laughs> Very few people in the show's history have ever read anything. So we're happy to have Joe here to <laughs> some, know some things. I might have spelled it wrong. <laughs> uh, so, uh, Ashley, you've said that you've been doing Let's theater see. for a long time. This is your first time doing stand-up. Uh, is this something you've always wanted to do? Tell us more about your life. I did theater for like 15 years took a big 10 year break just because you can't make a living off of it nor did I want to and then recently like picked up like comedy and improv and writing again which is where my main passion lies so might as well I have no humility so if I tank I tank and sucks for you guys doesn't really suck for me I love that your attitude is incredibly amazing it's the opposite it's such a good episode. This episode encompasses what to do and what to you know things to take for (laughs) Actually, doing this art form, the guy that didn't have confidence. Oh, you did spell Somebody it right. Googled the something. vagus nerve as a modulator of the brain gut access and psychiatric and inflammatory disorders. Nice. My point with what I was Love saying it. was that. V A G U S. Forward it to me. I didn't do any research. Like the earthquake guy was totally concerned about what the people thought about him specifically. No. And you don't care what people think at all, and you just plowed right through that seizure thing. That's the titty batteries for you. <laughs> They're doing something for the vagus nerve. Ashley, I'm you're thinking of getting one. <laughs> thinking about getting a a battery. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah, maybe it's good. Power bank. Hell we can yeah. swap magnets, make it weird later. Maybe yeah, we, if maybe it we can, works for you. Maybe, maybe it works when you for everybody. maybe when you get a battery, you could give Michael Lair a jump or something like that. <laughs> So, Ashley, uh, you get a full interview here. You're from Austin, yeah. born and raised? New Braunfels, Texas, about 90 minutes south. Lived okay. in Waco for a couple of years to go to Baylor. Waco. Pre-rape okay. scandal. Pre. Uh, so I escaped that. And then I wow. landed in Austin about six, seven years ago. So you were there when the whole Waco Branch Davidian shit went down? No, I'm not a... That was like in the 90s. No, you I'm, didn't know I'm anybody? I'm a young 32. Come on. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just Nine. asking. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Shit. I don't know when you were born. Oh, my God. Damn, you she got all touchy. Already. <laughs> that bitch might have started the whole thing. Listen yeah. to her. Super suspicious. <laughs> What's New Braunfels like? 90 minutes south. What do you do for fun down there? Just look Waffle up at the house. sky and watch politicians fly, to, fly out of snowstorms? No. Buggy. What? Tube and Tuesdays at 2 was a whole thing. Like, me and my friends would show up. It was an open invite, Tuesdays, 2 o'clock, Comal River. We all had weird front tans because we would just tube, drink Lone Star the whole oh, time. Yeah. Wow. My friend, my friend now used to always do the Guadalupe uh, River, and then she got a parasite, like something f- like went up her vagina and laid eggs or something. So watch out wow. for the Guadalupe. Wow, <laughs> look at that. That's look called that. anecdotal evidence, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yeah. Sometimes you should ignore it. Well, IUDs protect you from uh, parasites and sperm, so there's that. What did you say? The IUD prevents pregnancies and parasites from the river. Oh. I don't think it prevents the latter. Okay, okay. Are we, are we calling Mexicans I think you need Mexicans to talk to your parasites? doctor a little bit more. It's there to catch sperm, not lizards. What? Them water on? lizards, <laughs> they'll make sure. their way up the canal. Oh, it's dangerous. Geico. How long have you had the IUD for? Uh, since I was 25, I just got it replaced. Okay. Oh, shit. You got a fresh one in there? You got the new model? Obamacare. New shit. What, what, what's it like getting a, getting a new IUD or getting an IUD? Uh, is there a, it's like is getting there your a, tires changed, son. 
Time out. I'm real excited to hear more traction. This. Is there a boil water warning on it? Say that Shout again. Shout out Austin, you're terrible what, water. What, what, what'd you say? <laughs> no, Change just, them filters, kid. What'd you s- answer the question again? No, I was just super excited to hear what they had to say about an IUD. <laughs> Is it painful, the process, getting one put in? Like, tell us about it. <laughs> well. When a woman Believe it or not, we are not the panel of uh, commissioners on the IUD can- council. So Never had one, yeah. Five. This is all new to us. That's the problem with bringing up IUDs. Now they're going to talk about it. If you just kept that shit to yourself, we'd be okay. No. <laughs> the IUD does not protect you right? against IUD jokes. Yeah, you, no, once you I say it, that. it's on I the table. It fully. What's it like getting one put in? Uh, you pop it in, and guys with uh, small dicks like to pretend to say, oh, I can feel it when you can't. <laughs> you can't feel the IUD, guys. Stop saying that. Just Someone's body it. shaming. Did I mean, know? my God. <laughs> oh, wow. A small dick dude shaking their head no. going, yeah. I was a fan. I can swear I feel I was it. a fan. Can't, can't feel it. Sounds like a That's you problem. Life. Michael Lair has his hand raised. You want to share your mic there, Ashley? Oh, shit, the I have mics. a huge dick. And fucking a girl with an IUD is like fucking a sewing needle. Cool, 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 cool. Got it. Would you say a like sewing needle? Like you're fucking Like you're trying to sewing put Sewing needle. That's sewing literally needle. a needle dick, and that's not fun for us. Wow. Well, again, body shaming's not yeah. cool. I don't know yeah. if you've been paying attention. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> but prepare to be canceled. Yeah. When she says us, oh, she means girls with IUDs, not you, not you yeah. natural hoes out there. Oh, guys look how the table dicks. turns not so you, Not you natural free flowing oh, no. girls out there. You can feel the strings attached to the IUD, mm, though. No, yeah, an you IUD can. is in your fallopian tube. Like, talk that shit. No. Don't talk no, that right? shit to e- Brian. Even after your own talk warning. Talk that IUD shit. Even after your own warning, Red Band still will yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, prove that he definitely has a little dick by saying that he can <laughs> feel it. No, you can feel the strings. What strings? Yes. There's strings attached to the IUD, and you could Correct. definitely feel those. For a gynecologist. Uh, yes. Yes. No we all know Red Band and his big dick energy. I think you're thinking of a tampon, bro. <laughs> They're different things. Got it, got it, got it. I can't feel the IUD, but I can feel the strings uh, is the, attached is to it. Is there a string <laughs> attached to your IUD? Yes, you you get it out. That's how you get it out? A string? It's so yep. weird. Well, I felt the strings. <laughs> it's like make, meeting the puppet maker. Oh my god, you're <laughs> mentally Geppetto. ill, right, right there. I wish this didn't happen. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, IUD, no IUD. You did it tonight, Ashley. Your first set you so of stand-up Congrats comedy, on your first everybody. Set. Very rarely. Do you See, have now, a girl imagine, with an IUD pop her cherry right in front of you? But it just she, happened. If she didn't bring up the IUD, you could never talk about it. But once she introduced it, it was open game. That's That's it. when it became a problem. That's it. That's a part of the. It's a beauty of the show. Trying to find out those little fun facts about everybody's the hard part. Let's check out tonight's drawing from Ryan J. Ebelt. Here it comes. He drew it in Los Angeles. The camera flips around, and wow, look at that. Zoom in on that bad boy there. We got Red Band break dancing, me looking as evil as ever, Moses, and Joe Rogan. Look at that, Joe Rogan. Very good. Look at that badass jacket he put Talented you in. Talented artist. RyanJEbelt.com for every single print, including this one. So check it out there. Guys, did you guys have fun tonight? So much fun being here in Austin. A place that gives us the freedom to be able to even do the live shows that we want to do. Things are just going to get better and better. Listen to that big Kill Tony 500 announcement. First live podcast to ever hit 500 episodes. Very excited about it. It's going to be here in Austin, Texas. I'll tell you that. Thank you guys so much for coming out. Good night, everybody. We love you. Oh, hey, the band. John D's on keys. Follow him at John Keys, J O N K E Y Z. Matt Mueling, mutation, at M U E E H T A T I O N. Michael Gonzalez, Mike Agons13. And guys, how about one more big hand for on base D Madness, huh? Good night, everybody. Thank you so much. RyanJEbelt.com for Prince. Good night, everyone. Thank you.
Thank you. 